<laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Nira, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. <laughs> Exhausted. If we hadn't happened to see the Jade Chamber flying over just as we came out of the Golden House, we really wouldn't have known which way to go. <sighs> Do we make it in time? Is the Overlord of the Vortex still in the sea? What are you doing here? Huh? Hold on. It's the Adepti. What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? Paimon thought you were arguing with the Chising. Is the fighting over? Faced with a calamity of such magnitude, we have agreed to put our differences aside for now and unite against this common enemy. <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it. So how do you plan to defend Lila? Eh, just seeing this Overlord of the Vortex guy puts a pit in Paimon's tummy, even from all the way out here. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyue Harbor. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? Now that's scary. <sighs> So will the power of the Chising, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... What? What? All of you are supposed to be the Guardians of Lila! Can't you think of something? One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet, it would take one, but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into- <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to Mammoth. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. Yep. Tire men in the Guajan Ballista. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work. All able Millilith, with me. Let's go help too. 
We Adepti have not faced a god in several millennia. Hmm. Let one see what you're made of then. What strength remains within you, one wishes to witness. In Shroud! Looks like I went too far. Sir! Our bond is strong! Lightning terrified! <laughs> Can't see? Let's move sure to get here, sir. Who? Sir! An unfortunate fault! In shroud! Love! Let's nip that in the butt. <laughs> Can't see. Sir. Who? I miscalculated. Sir. That's what is that? That is Osile's divine power. I am very familiar with it. Be careful not to get hit. Julie, their attacks are unrelenting! Huh. How daring. Snezhnaya's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Every last one! Can't see? Ha! I hear everything! Uh, were you about to say we can't hold them, children? Huh? Oh, don't lose heart. Here, take this. This is... a ductal energy. That light from your body. It's like the tiny giant cars. Whoa! It's a matter of being shockwave. This green is really strong. Stand three forms of adeptal energy at once. This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. Once you've adapted, try to use them in battle. Keep up. One with the forest. I'll uproot you. Freshness prune to warm. This pain. No, I'm mad. In shroud! Keep up! Come on, let's nip that in the butt! Exercise caution! I fear that the god's power has reached its peak! 
In other words, if we hold here, there's nothing worse to come, right? This is not right. This Who? Let's nip that in the foot. One with the fox. I will be able to deal with the god in peace. <laughs> the interlopers are no more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. Now. Mm. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make any waves again. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. 
Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which- Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then-limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liu Qixing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liu means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiation. <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,000... Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable as stone, just as it was thousands of years before. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and- Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Hmm... I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. Ha! <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream, I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Chi Sing leaves many things of value. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Chi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world, establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be no- but I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in si- Oh, Ningguang. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? Right. That's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the Four Winds and the people of the Animal Ark. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides, because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both, and that nothing good would come of it. Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity, as Adepti, we've become a laughingstock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so... I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks to the I thought this battle would perhaps be my last, but thanks to the aid of the Adepti, although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the- Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> huh? Why does everyone look so down? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their- When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys and tasty snacks and- uh, Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Okay. Oh. You see, this is what Liu is like. The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection. 
but it is no longer necessary. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call more. The time of contracts between gods and Liyue has long since passed. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel. Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. Let us return now. Eager to leave, conqueror of demons. <laughs> yes, one understands what the conqueror of demons means. The city of Liyue has changed. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Liyue, you humans would have once again changed the plate. Fair enough. Away we shall, and return whence we came. Hmm. Since we Adepti have consensus, then one sh But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? <laughs> All right, Mooncarver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of Liyue. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. All right! It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure Rex like But we were able to handle the overlord of the Vortex on our... Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that Archon's death too? Hyman doesn't get it. But isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus Rite of Parting that we're organizing? No idea where Zhang Li's going. Let's ask for him at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. <laughs>